Hi, welcome back to this Materialize How-To Series. In this video, we're going to discuss how to change the look of the effect. So, from pre previous videos, we had set up the effect and functionally, and now we're ready to make it look pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so right now, let's go ahead and change the effect directly so we can see it in the editor real time. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All right, we got our table. As you can see, let's double check here, our materialize amount, go to 0.5. And we can see, yes. All right, so the one thing is I don't want the green effect necess uh, necessarily. I want to kind of look for a different effect that I liked. Uh, there's, uh, you can create your any custom look you want. And I have several set up already here in the, uh, the demo level. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of look which one I kind of want to start with, with the different shapes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with this blue one. I like the blue one. So how do I get this look onto my material instance? So... What, I, what you want to do is actually open up that instance here. So let me get this out of the way. Um, double click it, and then it opens up. And basically all that you have to do is go from one material to the other material. Oh, well, open the material instance, not the dynamic there. All right, so what I like to do is uh, separate this out here with my monitor. Let's get this tapped out here, and then this one out here. Okay, so we literally just go from one to the other and uh, transfer the values over. Uh, that's that's the best way to do it. So I'll go ahead and start with the French color here. We'll change that out. And blue, uh, I'll go ahead and copy it. Okay, and copy it over. Okay, got the blue changed out, and we're not going to change the French displacement. We want to change the texture. We want to go to the same one. So we'll go there and then change it out. And uh, if I actually reorder my thing here, there we go. That way it won't close out every time I uh, browse to it. We'll change our French tiling to 20. And then we'll change our displacement uh, glow. We won't have one. And the inner glow alpha. We will change that to this texture also. Oh, well, I lied on that, I guess. There we go. And I'll set it to over here. So that's uh, basically that pattern. And now you can change it to any pattern you wanted to really mess around in different looks. It's literally, whatever alpha mask uh, you want to put in there, it'll work perfectly for. You can see it's uh, highlighted R. So whatever uh, textures that you are using uh, in here, it's going to use the, uh, the red channel. So be aware of that. And we'll go ahead and go to... The inner glow, I want to change that to just a white, looks like. Uh, move this down to white, looks good. And uh, change the tiling to five for the right size. And then on the materialize, I want to do an animated mask. It's a little more expensive. So if you're using VR or something, you may not want to use that specific uh, feature. Um, and then max height model, we leave the same. Let's see, anything else? Oh, outer glow section, we need to change that to this color. So I'll go ahead and copy it from here, okay, and then um, turn it on, copy it back over here. All right, and then we also need to change the outer glow pattern too, the same thing. So I think we're still selected there, noise has hexagon, and then the tiling also 10 for that side. Now I think we're set. Let's see if we have um, the look we're looking for now. Yes, all right, there we go. Now we have materialized function change over the style we want, and we can go ahead and play with that a little bit. Let's go all the way down and come all the way up. Awesome. That's uh, exactly what I was looking for. So there you go. That's how you can change from one effect to the other effect uh, from any of the ones in the demo room. Now you can go ahead and go a step farther. You can play with different patterns, uh, play around and see uh, what other kind of looks you come up with. So it's definitely up to you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it and leave them down below. And thanks again for watching.